Hi, I'm Brian with Jones Indigo. And as you can see, I've got my work clothes on today because I'm tackling one of those dreaded jobs that all RV owners have to do at some point. Clean that nasty awning. So stick around and I'm gonna show you how you can get those nasty stubborn stains out with the least amount of work. Okay guys, before we get into this, be sure and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and hit the like button and be sure and hit the bell so that when more of these how-to videos come out, you can be notified. So as you can see, I use a pressure washer when I'm cleaning my awning and I know some of you guys are already cringing saying, this guy uses a pressure washer on his awning. I use a pressure washer on a lot of things and that's where that old term common sense comes into play. You just gotta remember, to keep them tips away from some of the more delicate fabrics and things like that, or things like your decals on your RV. Um, so common sense goes a long way when you're using equipment like this. So just keep that in mind. Now, how I apply the products that I use is with a foam cannon. And I know that not everybody knows what a foam cannon is. A lot of you probably already do, and maybe you're already using one. You can get these just about anywhere, um, and you don't have to spend a lot of money on one to get a decent one. In fact, this one came from Walmart. It was less than $30, and it is adjustable, and we'll get into that in just a little and bit. What I use in that foam cannon, you can use all kinds of different auto car wash um, products or detergents. I use the tried and true Dawn dish liquid and I use that on a lot of things on my RV including the roof. So I use that. Now when you're talking about some of these nasty mold stains that these awnings um, accumulate over time especially if it's been sitting for the winter you're going to get those streaks of mold on your awning that's just so unsightly you can't stand looking at it. The key to that really is bleach. And I know some people are cringing again because they think it's going to deteriorate the material. And again, here's where common sense comes into play. You can't leave it on very long. So after I get done washing my awning, I have this product out here too because typically once I have all the equipment out, in, in the water on, I'll end up washing the whole rig and the truck at the same time. And I foam that stuff too, and then brush it off and then rinse it. And this one is just basically an Armor All product um, with some kind of ceramic additives in it. And it says right on the bottle that it's good for just, you know, mix it in, in warm water in a bucket, or you can put it in a foam cannon. Um, this is kind of a thin liquid, this one was, so I decided to try it. It works pretty decent, it makes good foam. Um, but typically, I'll buy some kind of a car detergent that has the consistency of like a, like a uh, dishwashing detergent, a little thicker, because it makes better foam. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I mix this stuff up, and then I'm gonna show you how I spray it on and what the process looks like. Okay, so first, let's talk about the foam cannon. And it's basically just a reservoir with an aerating tip on it that's going to go on the end of your pressure washer. And I usually use about 1500 PSI when I'm using this and that seems to work out pretty good. Um, so basically what you're going to do is unscrew that from the aerator and add your product. One of the biggest questions I get when I tell people how I do this is how much of the detergent do you use and how much bleach do you use? Well, the detergent basically de depends on how much surface I'm going to be cleaning. Okay, so I've got about 10 ounces of Dawn dish liquid in here right now because we're just going to do these two awnings with this stuff today, so it's not going to take much, and you're going to see how much um, foam this is going to make. And then I'll just add some bleach to that, and the amount of bleach usually depends on how bad the awnings are, how long the stains have been on there, and how stubborn they're, I think that they're going to be. So I'm probably going to add just another 10 ounces of bleach to this and then fill the rest up with just water. All right, so there we have about 20 ounces of the bleach Dawn mixture, and then I'm just gonna fill the rest up with water. Now remember at the beginning of the video when I mentioned I have some old work clothes on, keep that in mind because you're using bleach. Guys, if you don't wanna hear from your wife about how you just ruined a shirt, grab an old t-shirt somewhere and, and use something that you don't care if you can throw it away afterwards or if you're just gonna use it for dirty jobs like this. 
Okay, now that I have the Dawn dish liquid and the bleach and the water, and this all filled up the rest of the way with water, I usually shake it up a little bit just to make sure it's mixed really good so I get some good consistency when I start spraying this. Um, as you can see on the top of this foam cannon, and most of them will have, there's a dial on there, and we can adjust um, that up and down. Um, if we put it on the lowest setting, what's going to happen is it's going to come out just like basically soapy water. And if we turn it up, what we're going to do is aerate it more and it's going to come out um, as a thicker solution. And I like to make it as thick as I can and it usually comes out like shaving cream. So as you can see, our awning is stained up mostly. It had some leaves and things like that rolled up in it the last time we packed up and went home. And I didn't get it um, unrolled when we got home because it was still raining. So that's one thing that you can do to kind of help keep the awnings clean is when they do get wet, if you're packing up first thing in the morning to go home because you've got to work on Monday, you know, that word work, I don't know about you guys, but it gets in the way of my life. But anyhow, if you're packing up first thing in the morning and you've got to roll the thing up, try to unroll it when you get home and let it dry before you roll it up and let it sit. And that's going to help kind of keep it clean longer. So let's get this sprayed on and let it sit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it on first and then we're gonna roll the awnings up. So all we really have to do is spray the underneath and you'll see how I'm getting this on thick. Roll the awning up so that it'll also get the top of the awning. And then we're gonna leave it sit for about 15, 20 minutes because our stains really aren't that heavy right now. Um, the heavier the stains or the longer they've been on, you're probably going to let it sit a little bit longer. But I try not to let it sit more than 20 minutes because remember, there's bleach in this. And even though the vinyl will probably be okay, but there's also stitching in here. So you don't want that bleach sitting too long and eating away at that stuff. So that's the key. Like I said, common sense. Don't leave it on too long. So let's get it sprayed on and see how this turns out. One thing that I do want to mention, guys, if you do have a lot of loose debris still on the awning, rinse that stuff off first, and then that's just going to make this stuff work a little bit better because it's not going to have all that stuff to cut through. So before I put the solution on, I'm going to just rinse off any loose debris, little pieces of leaves and things like that first, and then we're going to spray this on. It's been 15 minutes. We're going to unroll the awning. Um, before the, we do that, I wanted to mention a couple of things. We're going to rinse the bottom of it first. Um, and then, of course, you're going to have a bunch of foam on the top of the awning, too. You can rinse that off two ways. You can climb up on the roof and take your wand up there and rinse it off that way. Or you can have somebody go in the coach, unless you have a fob that you can roll your awnings up with, um, and kind of roll the awning up slowly and you can rinse that as it's rolling up. So um, I'm going to use that method today. I'm going to have Tina go in and roll the awnings up when we get to that part and um, just rinse them off that way so I don't have to go up on top of the roof with slippery feet. Okay, that's it's as easy as it is. I mean, the biggest inconvenience to this is you might get wet. So if you don't want to get wet, maybe you have a poncho or something you can throw on. But like I said earlier, you're using bleach, so wear old clothes. And so you can see that it came really clean and it was only rolled up for 15 minutes and then we got it rinsed off right away. If you do get some stubborn spots that it doesn't get the first time, you can either A, go back through and, and spot it with your foam cannon with some thick foam and just leave it sit on there for a while and then spray it off again. Or maybe try something like a magic eraser or something like that to scrub those stubborn spots. But all in all, we only had a couple little stubborn spots and we'll scrub those later. There are some other products that you can get in a spray bottle that's like a gel. Um, that's non-bleach that does a pretty good job as far as mold removers and things like that. So I'm going to have Tina go into the coach <clears throat> and roll up the awnings one at a time and I'm going to spray them off from down here because you know my feet are wet and I really don't want to be up on the roof so you know just remember safety guys you can rinse the top of this off real easy by having somebody roll it up. You don't have to get up there and worry about slipping off that roof. So we're going to do that and then wrap this up. Okay, 
guys, that is it. Real simple process. As you can see, I'll rinse it as it's going in and then rinse it as she brings it back out. So once you're done rinsing, um, unroll the awnings, let them dry before you put them away and you're good to go for hopefully quite some time. So this is something that we usually do three or four times a year, depending on the type of camping that we do. And like I said earlier, since I have all the equipment out, I'll switch products now and then I'm going to foam the, the whole RV and the truck and wash them just because I have everything out. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some of you new people and maybe some of the seasoned people as well if you were doing it.